This is a demonstration of how to prepare a fusion link ribbon in central loose tube cable, also known as an RCLT, for jointing purposes. These are the recommended tools that you will need. Long nose pliers, approved G-type strippers, scissors, side cutters, tube cutter, wipes and alcohol cleaning pads. Make a cut on the sheath at a distance approximately 100mm from the end of the cable. Set the blade depth to ensure the rip cords and other elements are not damaged. Align the blade with one of the strength members and pull along the cable to cut the sheath. Reinsert the stripper, align with the other strength member and pull along the cable. If the nylon sheath is the unbonded type, it may separate from the polyethylene sheath. At the required distance along the cable, a second cut can be made. The distance to the cut will depend upon the length of optical fibre ribbons required for termination or splicing. Using long nose pliers, if required, carefully remove the cut section of the sheath to expose the two rip cords. The cable may be gently flexed to assist this process. It may be necessary to nick the sheath adjacent to the ripcord with side cutters to start the cut. Grip one ripcord with the long nose pliers and pull down to the second cut on the sheath. Hold the free end of the cable firmly to prevent buckling. Repeat this process with the second ripcord. Once again, separate and remove the nylon if it is not bonded to the polyethylene sheath. The two halves of the sheath can now be removed. The cable core consists of a single buffer tube surrounded by water swellable tape. Cut and remove the helical binders and the wrapping tape. The two strength members can now be cut to the required length. The tube may then be prepared by applying a circular cut with a tube cutter at the required distance. The correct blade depth will only score the tube, which may then be separated and removed by gentle flexing. Remove the excess gel with a soft, lint-free cloth by gently wiping the ribbons. Always wipe towards the free end to prevent buckling of the ribbons. Separate the ribbons and clean off all remaining gel with an alcohol wipe or equivalent approved cleaner.
Following a visual inspection of the ribbons, the preparation process is now complete.